medical news, a potentially fatal disease, unknown just months ago, is spreading so quickly that doctors now say it's a national epidemic. 90% of the cases have turned up in New York and six other cities. It is spreading at an alarming rate. Researchers offer little hope for future victims because no one knows what causes AIDS or how to cure it. 722 cases of AIDS have been reported in New York City since the beginning of the outbreak. Almost half of those diagnosed so far have died. AIDS was once found only among sexually active gay men, but not anymore. Researchers complain that very little money has been spent nationwide to understand it or to combat it. One reason for that, they believe, is that the primary at-risk population is gay men who don't carry a lot of political clout. This epidemic is not going to remain localized in any one group. Epidemics affect people. We need funding to stimulate research to find the cause of this new disease. Would you support a massive government research program against AIDS? I have been supporting it. We have $100 million in the budget this year. The National Academy of Sciences has issued a very stern warning on the subject of AIDS. The current efforts are described as woefully inadequate. This report calls for the government to spend $2 billion a year on AIDS research and education. The panel urged the use of condoms during intercourse. We hope it will make the risky situation completely safe, but I don't think there's sufficient research to be certain. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and he had that name. Word of Rock Hudson's death spread quickly this morning, and friends and associates rushed to his Beverly Hills home. For the first time today, the government approved prescription sales of a drug to treat AIDS. AZT is not a cure. AZT only seems to extend life for an average nine months. 42,000 dead for me! We want more experimental drugs tested in more people as quickly as possible. People are dying, we're caught in the middle, and we don't know what to do except protest and protest and protest. I would like you to join us in an act of activism. Watford. Michael Talbot. Rodney Arthur. James Mincy. A quilt made by Americans across the country was unfurled. He was diagnosed with AIDS five years ago when he was 13, one of the first children known to have AIDS at that time. There's a real danger right now of complacency in the, in the fight against AIDS because a lot of people feel, well, gee, I'm not going to get it. Because of uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. Officials at the World Health Organization say that four million women will die of AIDS by the year 2000. I found out that I had been infected with the AIDS virus. I asked the Republican Party to lift the shroud of silence which has been draped over the issue of HIV and AIDS. AIDS patients are not to be pitied. None of us want pity. We do want compassion. We do want understanding. The scientific advisory panel has recommended that the Food and Drug Administration approve a new drug called the most important advance since AZT. It's a step in the right direction. AIDS patients are living both better and longer. New York, which has the highest number of AIDS patients in the country, has shown a dramatic decrease in the number of AIDS deaths, a 30% drop. We have a fresh reminder this morning that the AIDS epidemic is anything but history. A report from the United Nations says that despite promising new treatments, more than 33 and a half million people are now infected with HIV, and that number is expected to keep climbing. Despite what you may have heard, I am cured of the AIDS virus. We can now say with some confidence that we have the scientific basis to bring an end to this epidemic. We're not sure when that's gonna happen, but we know it's possible. You could have imagined that we'd be talking about the real possibility of an AIDS-free generation. We've gotta keep fighting. Fight for every person who needs our help today, but also fight for every person who didn't live to see this moment. Keep fighting for all of them because we can end this pandemic. We can beat this disease. We can win this fight.